This is an Expansys USA look at the Gigabyte M704 Ultra Mobile PC. I'm going to go ahead and just give you a quick walk around of the device before we actually look at some of the functionality that's offered on the Windows XP um, that comes standard on the unit. Uh, looking at the top of the device here, we have some of just our standard indicator buttons such as our Bluetooth, our Wi-Fi, um, our battery, our power on and off. So just so you get a quick glance when you're on your computer, you can see those buttons right away. Uh, next to that, we do have a 1.3 megapixel camera, and I'll show you the quick launch functionality on that as well shortly here. Um, over at the side of the device, um, we just have our basic camera buttons. Uh, this button here allows me to take the mouse and stop that from working and just use the touch screen. Um, if I push that again, the touch screen will work and the mouse will work. So quick little functions there. Um, a few more little buttons here. If I push this button here, it's going to bring up my system help, give me some of my hotkeys, um, and then I can click that to get out of there again. And then here I have my zoom function. So if I need to zoom in on something, um, real simple to zoom in, uh, move around the screen. I can write on the screen here. So just some real easy functionality there. And then I can go ahead and hit the button here again and get out of that screen. All right, so going over to the right side of the device, we have just our power button here. We have our mic and our headphone uh, connectors. Uh, this button right here, if I push that, I'm going to go back over here, actually pops up our task manager. So really easy access into your actual task manager itself. Um, aside from that, we have our power on and off button as well as hold. If you flip this into the hold position, it's actually going to make it so if you touch your screen, nothing happens. And then we have our volume rocker there as well. And I'm just push that up and down to change the volume. And you can actually see the volume changing right there in the left-hand corner. Um, on the bottom of the device, this first port that you see is the uh, docking station port. So you can get a docking station for this unit. Um, next to that, there's also the... Uh, the video output. So if you want to hook that up to your regular computer screen, you do have that option. And then there's one of the USB ports that's also located on the device. So just a few quick features there for you. Switching over to the left hand side here, um, we have our lock and unlock button. Then we do have a SD card slot uh, right here. And uh, you can use a full size SD card in there. And then we have our second USB port here as well. Uh, so just a couple quick features on the device. See it's pretty blank up at the top here. On the back of the unit, there is a stand. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out real quick. And um, there's your speaker as well. You have uh, flip that over. And you can see that that actually allows me to lay the screen up so you can see it a little bit better. The unit's running on a 1.2 gigahertz processor. Um, it does feature 768 megabytes of RAM and a 60 gigabyte hard drive. And uh, this one's running the XP Home. There is an XP Pro edition as well. And then um, again, we have the 1.3 megapixel camera. Um, also on this device, uh, like I said, we do have the mouse option here, and you can see the mouse moving around the screen. Over to the left here, we then have our left and right mouse buttons. But that's not the only thing that this unit offers. I'm going to go ahead and slide the screen up. You can see now that we do have a full-size keyboard here that's broken into two parts. Uh, with this, I can actually do a couple things. I can launch Bluetooth if I have Bluetooth enabled. I can also push this button um, right here, right under the Bluetooth button. Um, if I want to launch any of the uh, the webcam functionality on the device and then we also have uh, Instant access to our Wi-Fi and here comes the webcam um, The webcam is a little hard to see if you're just looking over the device You got to kind of lean like this in order to get into the camera when it is tilted Which is one of the few things I didn't like if you push webcam again, it will go away um, Pushing this Wi-Fi button will also bring up your Wi-Fi if you're a uh, looking to use Wi-Fi, you want to make sure you only push it once or it's going to close the uh, application as well. So that's important to remember. Um, here we actually have some handwriting recognition. I'm going to go ahead and just push right here where this mouse is. So let me put the mouse on there so I can show you that I can click on that. Now you can see that there is handwriting recognition right on the device. You can also see that it actually picks up my handwriting fairly quickly and it'll disappear off of there. Um, then you can switch out of handwriting by going back down to the mouse functionality here. There's different handwriting, and then we're back at the mouse. And you can see the mouse trailing behind my finger pretty easily. Um, so you really do have a couple different ways to do things. For instance, if I wanted to, um, for instance, get into the recycle bin, um, I can go over to it and double click on it from here. And I'll go ahead and get out of there. Um, or I have the ability, of course, to move my mouse pad over to that same recycle bin. And there you go. And then to double click using the mouse button. And I can close that out using my finger again. So it's very easy to use the device as far as that goes. Well, that's just a quick look at the uh, Gigabyte M704. Be sure to check out expansis-usa.com. 
you can see a little bit more about the device, uh, some of its features, um, as well as find out current pricing and availability on the unit as well.